Hi, good evening. How's everyone doing this today? Okay, I know the time now is running a bit late. I'm almost going to miss the calendar, the date for today, uh, you know, for my daily recording. But nevertheless, as you will know, this is a daily resolution for myself. So I'm going to do it and complete it before the clock strikes 12. Okay, so to be precise, time now is 11.40 p.m. 16 of Feb 2021, Tuesday, before it hits 12 midnight and across into 17 of Feb 2021. Okay, so I'm still in time for the daily broadcast for 16 Feb, which is today. Okay, now, so again, once again, this is a short direct signing in. Now, today I have some materials to, to share. All right, I hope this is useful to you. Uh, I'm just going to make it very bite sized. Moving forward, this is something that I, I endeavor to do. Okay, so I endeavor to always share something bite size. And that's why I shared before, right? I want to do it something a bit more visual, something that you can see, something that you can relate and you it's able easier for you to pick up versus just listening to me talking away and you know you can't you can't you know gather too much you know auditory yeah audibly right so let me do this let me do this let me just quickly uh, share out something and then you can take a look okay all right are you able to see my screen? Yeah? Give me, give me, give, give me a thumbs up. Huh? You are able to see it. Okay. Yeah. Let me just do this. Okay. Now. Yes. Good. Okay. Once again, there's something that I'd like to share. Huh? This, uh, as of today, right? As of today, uh, Promex has come up with this monthly report for January. And this is done by Promex Research. And this is on private new home sales. Okay. Interesting. Huh? In there, we actually have tabulated the top 10 performing projects for January. Okay. And, and the result was actually pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. Other than some of those that you probably will be expecting, such as some of the project that was on the news recently that was selling well, there are some others that probably you may not quite expect. All right. I mean, it's not not that they are, you know those are nice projects as well. It's just that it's not something that you may you may you may you may you may thought that it's actually performing top performing in, in January. Okay, so this is not just pertaining to Pronex alone, huh? Just as this, as a disclaimer, it's actually to the whole Singapore. So so it's it's interesting to do that to know that now. So so if if you if you like to have a copy of this report and you think this is something that's going to help you in your decision making, once again, don't hesitate to PM me. Most happy to assist you and to be your partner in your real estate journey. Okay, all right. So that's one. Second one, yes. So what is it that I'd like to share for today? I mentioned about this project a couple of times, Irwell Hill Residences. Now today, I'm going to just dwell a bit deeper into this specific project. And I'd like to share more with you something that you can see more substantially and so that you can take it away. All right. Uh, you, you can have some takeaway uh, before, before this project hits the market. Okay. Now, so once again, just to highlight, uh, it's official. Promnex has been appointed as the one of the marketing agency for Irwell Q Residences. And this is going to be a project that's going to be very, very interesting and something to watch out for. Now, let me just get straight into the next slide. Okay, that's a bit, some of the basic facts. Okay, now, a well Hill residence is a government land sales site. Okay, the plot area, the site area is about 12,000, close to 13,000 square meter, and it translates to close to 138,000 square feet of land. Okay, land. Now, the gross build up area, gross build up is approximately about 385, 383 square feet. Okay. And now this, this, this is in the next slide, you'll see a bit more. Now the, 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 the winner that emerged from the land bid was actually CDL. And if you look at the successful land tender price, right? 583,888,000. Okay. okay. Correction. Uh, let me just get it correct. Cause there's so many 583 million. 
888,000. That was the winning bid for this piece of land. Okay, which, which means uh, which is translates to, right? 1,515 per square foot, per square foot, per square foot, per pot ratio for the raw land cost. Okay. Now, so, so this is something to be mindful of. I shall, if you're interested, let me know. I can share with you how from this figure alone, we will be able to roughly make a guesstimates of what the developer's potential, potential break even price would be and what they may potentially be launching this project at. Okay, so, so something, this will be something that's key to you. So let me know again if you like to just take this into a bit into another level. Okay, now so this is giving a government land sales side, right? This is actually a ninety-nine year lease. Okay, and now just something interesting. Uh, you take a note. Take a take a look at this. Uh. take a look at this. Uh. It, it says. It says the top is two zero two one. Let me just make it a bit something easier for you to look at. So you look at it. It says. 2026, expected TOP, yeah? according to URA, right? 2026. But later, let me show you another slide. Hey, look at it. So, of course, a lot of these information I'm sharing with you right now are probably something publicly available. Us being in Singapore, this is publicly available. So, which means some of the information are probably very, a bit prelim. Subsequently, as more information are become available, rest assured, I will share about or share more with you. Okay. All right, so just hold the horses for now, yeah? Okay, so just take note of some of these key, key stats, uh, basic information for Irwell Q residences. Now, this is the next one. Irwell Q residences sits in District 9, in the core central region. Now, so what we have known so far is that we're expecting about 540 units, and these are the breakdowns, okay? You have the studio, studio loft, one plus study, one plus study loft, two bedroom classic, two bedroom premium, two bedroom classic loft, two bedroom premium loft, three bedroom classic, three bedroom premium, four bedroom premium, and the sky penthouse, four bedder, and the sky penthouse, five bedder. So this makes up the 514 unit. For the breakdown, let me know if you like more information on that. Okay? Now, just quickly moving on to the next one. Yes, now this once again, uh, this is important. Uh, these slides give you a glimpse of developer sentiment in our Singapore market. Okay, and also give a glimpse of the developer sentiment given the current market, current market, given that it's COVID and all the things that's happening. Now look at it, right? Look at it. Take a take a look. Eh? We have how many developers? Seven. There are seven developers. This is actually a pretty healthy sign, eh? given that in a in a climate such as this, right? And well, on one hand, you like what I shared previously, yeah, we have heard of people that are, you know, having worries about their job stabilities and things like that. On the other hand, we are seeing the real estate market really performing pretty well in 2020 and coming into 2021. So it's actually no surprises that you actually see seven developers going after this project, going after this piece of land. Okay. Now, so once again, you see that it's actually a denier lease. Uh, this was the land, the land bid was launched in October 2019. Okay. Of course, this was prior to the uh, the, the, the COVID. The tender was closed in January last year. Okay. If you look at it, now the land award, the award actually was in, okay, Jan 2020. Okay, of course, uh, you'll, you'll be right to say that hey, all these were happening, the, the land prices were happening, uh, were, were actually, the tender was actually closed before, before COVID. All right, that's, that's true, that's true. Okay, nevertheless, uh, is this is still a healthy sign. This is a still healthy sign. Because if you look at it, given its location, given the land cost, uh, given there's multiple factors that's come together, uh, this is probably one of the projects that's going to take District 9 uh, by storm. Okay, now let me just move on very quickly. Eh? 
Now, to be more precise, this is exactly where it is. Now, early on, you see our, our logo. Let me just take you a bit more into this. Huh? Let me just take you through quickly. Now, the, the plot that is actually highlighted. Okay, let me just take this away. As you can see, the plot ratio is probably about 2.8. It is 2.8, okay? At least from what we are seeing here, it's 2.8. This is the great... Okay, let me see if I can draw it here. Oh, okay. Good. This is the great world city. And you notice this? This is actually the future MRT station. Future MRT station. Now, so you, do you recognize this? This is actually the Robertson Key. Okay, the, the, the Singapore River, part of the Singapore River from Alexander Canal going down. This is River Valley. This is actually Green Road, which means on this side, right, that's Orchard. Okay, and so this is actually Patterson. Okay, and this is actually, uh, if I'm right, MOE, if I'm right. Okay, so which means actually it's sitting at this corner, very strategic location. As you look at this, you look at the plot ratio, you look at the zoning of the land, you look at what's around here, you realize that this is actually smack in a very strategic location. So what is what is over at what is on this piece of land at this moment? Take a look. Huh? Now this is actually the government land sales. I was saying earlier, the Great World City, the Great World uh, train station, which is part of the Thompson East Coast Line, okay, under construction. Okay. Yep, let's go on to the next slide. Yes, roughly somewhere here. This is a well Hill Residences. Okay, now as you can see from the Google map today, this is probably a empty piece of land, which explains why it's a government land sales. So you're, you're franked by the only towers and the well Hill uh, correction, the only towers, and river lodge okay uh, let me make it let me make it a bit neater for you uh. river lodge and i believe this is your need towers okay all right so far so good okay in fact from what i'm looking at, at some of the the information that seems to be available on the URI website there may potentially be a road that would okay let me just use another color uh that will come somewhere here. There may be a new road that will come this way. Okay, which means potentially the entrance to well, a well Hill residences, right? Maybe buy this new road that would, would maybe open in, in the future. Anyway, information are preliminary. This is just my own opinion. Uh, let's, let's see what's come out finally. Okay, when the, when the information are all are more available to everyone. All right. Now, this is what I mentioned earlier. This is actually from strict directory. Strict directory. Now, take a look. Huh? What does strict directory, directory say about the date? Here you mentioned 2 3. 2 3. Remember earlier on the UI website, it says 2026. Whereas on strict directory, it says TOP 2023. Okay, so once again, this information we are looking at now, these are all preliminary information. Let's wait for the final uh, details to be out and we'll know for more certain what are the dates that a potential owner like ourselves will be looking at. Okay, all right. Now, this is roughly what I would like to share for Earl Hill Residences for now. This is an exciting project. We're, it's, uh, the, the launch date is probably not going to be too far away, given that we have crossed Chinese New Year, everyone's getting back to work. And so, which means this is potentially something that you want to watch out for in probably in the next few weeks or in the next one month or so, next one month or two. Okay, so something exciting to watch out for. I shall leave it for now. If, if you're interested to find out more about Earl Hill Residences and you believe this is something that you're interested in, don't hesitate to just give me a tinker, drop me a note, PM me, WhatsApp me, leave me a message. I'll be more than happy to share more with you. And if let's say the opportunity arise, yes, and you think it's, this is something you want to do, you're ready, you're, at least you know you're ready to make an informed decision. 
and you know that I'll be there with you on this journey that you'll be taking. Okay. All right. Now, the last thing I'd like to share with uh, just a glimpse of what I plan to do for tomorrow. For tomorrow, I'm planning to share more on. Let me just do this. Huh? Peak residences. Peak residences. Peak residences, as you can see, actually it sits right behind Thompson Medica. Okay, <laughs> the coloring is a bit. Okay, now, so this is peak residences, yeah? And this is Thompson Medica. Okay, I shall not get too much into details right now because this is something that I intend to share in tomorrow's session. Okay, so much for now. I hope this is something useful to you. I hope that you find my daily sharing informative and something that you have good takeaway with. Take away with. So, as always, the request I always like to have, if you think there's things that you're interested in, if you find that what I'm sharing with you is makes sense and is useful, give me a thinker, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, share it, so that I know that I'm the right track for you. Okay? All right, let me just end this sharing. Okay, hang on here. Yeah. Let me just come back here. Okay? Let me just end my share. Okay. Okay, do Okay, now, so I'm done for this training. Okay, now I'm, um, I hope I hope you have a great day. I also just posted, you know, something I did during uh, the third day of New Year for just a little mini, you know, it's, it's not really mini, it's, it's meaningful because it's just me and my wife. We have our, you know, Valentine's Day celebration, something just two of us, we have our own getaway. We, we went pato, you know, two of us just hold hand watch a movie, uh, have a simple meal, have a massage, okay? So so I'm really glad for that. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed your Valentine's Day at Chinese TV as well. And I hope that you are also, like, my, like myself, getting back into work, okay? So that's all for tonight. I hope you this has been meaningful and useful to you. So once again, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, share it, give me a comment, okay? All right, so, so much for now. Short Derek signing up. Thank you.